Hi friends, welcome to POFO WordPress theme. In this video we will show how to use row short code in carry page builder and explain about different helpful settings of row short code. Row is the main content element of the page in which you can add multiple columns and inside columns you can add different content elements like text block, images, image sliders and many other elements. So first of all log into WordPress admin backend then create a new page or edit your existing page. Now you can see add element with plus icon. Click on it and select POFO tab from pop-up. Click on row short code. Row short code is added to your page. Now let me add text block element here and check preview. My text block element with row is visible in front end with preview. Now click on pen icon to change settings of row shortcode settings. Row setting has different tabs general, background video, overlay, scroll down, design options and extras. Each tab provides different settings. First of all we will talk about row background property. There are three types of background options. First is color background, second one is image background and third one is video background. So for color background click on design options tab. This is the background color, select your background color and click on save changes button and click on preview button. You can see selected background color in row here. Now another option is video background, so first let me clear background color from design option tab. Now click on background video tab, select yes for use video background. There are three types of videos. First one is self, self means HTML5 local hosted video. In this case you can add full video URL in MP4 here and add image, this image will be used as poster image for this video. This image will display in devices where autoplay video not supporting. Another option is YouTube and third one is Vimeo. Let me choose YouTube, enter your YouTube URL on this pattern. You can also set parallax effect here. Now click save changes and preview it. Background video is visible now. Let me disable background video and let me go to design option tab. From here you can upload row background image. Select or upload background image. Background image is visible now. Suppose you want to add overlay in your row then click on overlay tab, switch on overlay, assign overlay color. Set opacity level and click on save changes and preview it. You can see yellow color overlay here as we added in background image. Let me click on scroll down tab now. Suppose you want to add an icon to row, which will show to your user that there are some other content below the fold then you can use this feature. Switch on scroll to down icon, there are two styles available, style 1 and style 2. Select any one style and enter target section id so on click of that icon user will direct it to this section or row. You can set animation, enter custom icon image or select predefined font icon. You can also set icon size, color, and background color. Click on save changes and preview it. Scroll down icon is visible here. Now another option is change body color on scroll over this section. So when you scroll down page and you want to change automatically background color of row then use this feature. Design options, this is main and very helpful feature. Using design options you can set custom padding and margin over here. You can assign border color, border style, border radius then background type, fix or cover background, background position and minimum height of this section. So all this options are for standard devices means desktop devices. Now if you want different settings for different devices then switch on enable responsive CSS box and you can add your different settings for different devices like mini desktop, tablet or mobile. Go back to general tab, row stretch option. Suppose you want your content to be stretch means full width then you can use this option. Let me select stretch row option, click on save changes and preview it. You can see output of this option. Your row background is stretch but content is still inside the container. Let's select stretch row and content, save changes and preview it. Content is also stretch now. Suppose you want to remove padding also then select stretch row and content no padding option, save changes and preview it. Padding is removed now. 
If you want full height row means full screen row then select this option and you can set columns position like middle, top, bottom or stretch, save changes and preview it. Your row is full height means covering full screen and content is in middle. You can also set parallax effect here and disable row. Suppose you don't want to make your row visible to public then you can check this option. In future if you want to make it visible again then you can uncheck it. Position relative option, if you have any element inside the row which has position absolute property then you will need to enable this option otherwise position absolute will not work. Overflow option, if you have fix or full height row and content is longer than the height of row then you can use overflow property to make scroll bar visible. Add margin top of header height option, if have page in which you are not using page title area then there is chances that your content gets hidden below the sticky header so in this case you can switch on this option and content will show perfectly with down position. CSS animation option, you can select your desired animation from available options, let me select pulse, save changes and preview it. This is effect of animation. Now if you want to add multiple columns in row then you can use this option and you can add different columns with different width as per your need. Let me select 3 columns. Let me add text block element in other 2 columns and set different background color to each columns, save changes and preview it. You can see three different column with assigned background colors. Now suppose you want all three columns equal height then you can select equal height option, save changes and preview it. All three columns are equal height now. Column gap option, if you want to add some gap between each column then you can use column gap option, let me assign 20 pixel gap here. Save changes and preview it. You can see 20 pixel gap between columns here. Go to extra tab, this is element id, you can assign unique id to your row then extra class name, you can add CSS class name here and then write custom CSS for this row. You can add custom CSS code in appearance customize panel or you can add custom CSS code in child theme style file also. I hope this video has been helpful. Any more question about same more theme you can contact via our support. Thank you for watching.